Extraction of metals. There are many ways you can extract metals. One method is via carbon. You can also do it with hydrogen or more reactive metals. We use carbon on metals that are less reactive than it. If they are more reactive, it is difficult to extract metals using carbon. Another method we can use is electrolysis. This is where you extract the metals by passing electricity through its solution. You can also split up metals with copper. People are developing new methods to make the extraction of metal more efficient all the time. One example of reduction by carbon is by using a blast furnace. There are very few blast furnaces in operation at present. In the UK, there are only one or two. Reduction by carbon is the process of trying to extract iron from its ore. This is hematite, so we're trying to get the iron from the oxide, as the high oxide isn't that useful to us. We do a few things to it. Firstly, we put in carbon, which is the reducing agent. After that, hot air and limestone are added to the furnace. The temperature in the blast furnace is very high. Carbon monoxide is produced, and this is what does the reduction process. And carbon dioxide picks up the extra oxygen. The reason we add limestone is to get rid of a lot of the other acidic impurities. On top, slag is left. You can use electrolysis for metal extraction. This is splitting the oxide from the metal. For example, you can get aluminium by splitting aluminium oxide called borzite. This can be split by passing electricity through it. Aluminium oxide has a very high melting point. Therefore, it is mixed with a compound called cryolite. However, this process uses a lot of electricity.